So I'm from the University of Manchester in the UK and in 2004 two scientists took some graphite and some sticky tape, peeled that over many times to isolate a single atomic layer of carbon. So what is graphene? It is a single atomic layer of carbon, it's got length and breadth, but it's one atomic layer thick. So what? They got the Nobel Prize for Physics. But more importantly, people are now looking at that carbon to make things lighter, make batteries last longer. But also importantly, you can actually take that carbon from things like methane or carbon dioxide. So you can actually decarbonize a waste material like methane to produce fuel, hydrogen, and the carbon as graphene, which you can then add into things to make them lighter, stronger, and reusable. So graphene has a real opportunity both on decarbonisation, but also to contribute towards sustainability. So one of the challenges you have in a new material, it can take many tens of years from discovery through to products in the marketplace. 2004 to today is 19 years, which sounds a long time, but graphene's still a teenager. However, we partnered with Mazda five years ago at the University of Manchester to create a facility in Manchester called the Graphene Engineering Innovation Centre, whose role is to work with industry to really accelerate the adoption of 2D materials into products and applications. So today you can buy shoes with graphene soles, rubber soles, you can buy anti-corrosion paints, you can buy components that use less material than the lighter weight. What we're also seeing is a real growth now of people taking waste material like methane and converting that into hydrogen and graphene. And today they can produce kilograms of material today uh, per, per day. But going forward, they're looking to really scale those up. So you may have one of these plants on every waste tip uh, where you're actually currently flaring um, uh, methane. So real opportunity to scale up into significant quantities. So graphene's not at mass adoption, but one of our partners has recently signed a major deal in UAE to build a factory in UAE looking at graphene polymer concrete, zero water, zero cement, so carbon positive, and actually seeing how they roll that out in the UAE territory. They're also looking at hydrogen storage, pipes, as well as uh, PPE clothing. So we're really starting to see that real growth now of products and applications in the marketplace in territories like UAE where there's a real drive towards sustainability and partnership is driving some of that growth. So most graphing today comes from graphite from the ground and there's been a lot of investment in people who can now make graphing by the gram, by the kilo, by the ton. I think the opportunity in territories like UAE there is no natural graphite. So, But if I can use the methane where there's large sources and scale that up it's a real investment opportunity to take what's currently seen as a waste product into a value added product. So the methane example is great in that you've got waste methane causing um, uh, 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 sustainability challenges. If I can make hydrogen as a fuel and the carbon as an added value product, the investment case actually becomes a real commercial investment now, not just a, a gimmick around sustainability. So I think we're seeing a real drive now in interest and that's why we're at UAE Climate Tech around bringing people together to see how we accelerate this technology whether it's academia, working with industry, creating new supply chain or through government policy that will really accelerate the adoption in the marketplace.